day, I went on a school field trip to Science Center. So I had learned all about the mind body over there. So I'm going to tell you all about the mind body, okay? Our body. So our body is made up of tiny organisms called cells which make up tissues. Tissues make up, you know, organs. And organs make up organ bodies. Not organ bodies, but organ systems. All those organ systems work together in our body. The two body systems which work hand in hand are actually the two main body systems okay the skeletal system and the muscular system why because musculars i mean muscles cannot work without you know bones and bones cannot work without muscles because muscles help the bones to move around and the, when bones are not there the muscles will not be able to be very thick like our skin see now uh, like i know all of you guys pretty much know all about the five sense organs okay there are five of them. They're very common. Two eyes, two ears, uh, the tongue, and the nose. Also the skin. The skin is actually the biggest organ, the sense organ of our body because it's actually it's covering our whole body. But that's what it's called it. So actually you can uh, there are little you know the little fingerprints on our tongue finger. Actually all of our fingers they are used for the passcode on phones or any fingerprints so i don't know what these are called but i'll tell you later so the digestive system yes the digestive system is the biggest system which is ever in our body so starting with the mouth the mouth is the is where we chew our food the suppose if you're you know chewing a slice of bread the uh it gets sweeter in the mouth because the saliva mixes with the bread and makes starch into sugar then it goes into the long food pipe called esophagus. That's pretty a good, you know, pretty long spelling, but it's okay. And then the stomach. It gives up gastric juices. Uh, it takes five, four hours. All the food, just a slice of bread cannot be digested with four hours. If you eat a heavy meal, it actually takes about three to six hours to digest it. It gives out a gas called hydrogen, which I pretty much read in, you know, YouTube. Then uh, after four hours of being in the stomach, it goes into the seven year coil tube called the small intestine. Then uh, the liver and pancreas give out, uh, you know, juices. From the liver, it gi the liver gives out bile, pancreas gives out pancreatic juice. Then they both mix up and then uh, they form it more little, you know, little softer. Then the undigested food, semi-solid undigested food, goes straight into the large intestine where the water is absorbed by the walls of the large intestine and then they're passed through a body part called anus. So that's the, you know, that is the, you know, digestive system. Now the respiratory system. It's pretty much, the body parts are mouth, nose, because we, because some people who have blocked noses breathe through their mouths. That's very common actually. And we also have the trachea, actually, that's the air pipe which we get. And also, biggest organ, lungs, yep. The thing is, the left lung is actually smaller than the right lung. Why? Because the right lung lung has nothing beside it. Why the red lung has the heart beside it, so that's why it has to be a little bit smaller. There's a thing called diaphragm. It's actually, when, suppose you're taking a balloon, put it in a jar with pipes, okay? And then when you push the diaphragm in, I saw this experiment. The balloons actually get air. When you leave it, it inflates slowly. Why? Because when they fill up, it's oxygen. And then when you leave it, the carbon dioxide goes out. So that's the cycle. Actually, now let's get into the third system okay it is the circulatory system that's pretty it's just the nerves and then the heart those are all the body parts okay actually there are a lot of nerves through our body the blood the heart gives our blood through all the nerves so actually there are three types of nerves I mean two they're green and red I don't see any green uh, red but there are green nerves over here okay you see over here there's even on my left hand you know so right and left hand you can see you know green nerves easily but I don't 
You cannot see the red ones. Actually, you did good eyesight for this. Uh, okay, next is the skeletal system. Now, as I told you, the skeletal system is just a lot of bones, okay? But actually, the thing is, babies have 300 bones in their body that when you grow up, why? Because babies have more bones than uh, adults because when babies are like two months or like that, their bones are small, so small that they get enough space for 300 bones. But when you, as you grow more, the bones get a little bit taller and then you get 206 bones. And that's a skeletal system. So you can easily move uh, with the skeletal system. But the, the thing that makes our body easily move is actually the muscular system. We have muscles all over our body. Just like skin is all over our body, muscles are actually under the skin, okay? The skin is actually a fat layer. I forgot to tell you one science about the skin. This is the fat layer on us. So I told you that these touch IDs things, I don't know the names, but when you touch something, when you feel it, like an apple, when you touch it, I want you guys to try out this experiment. Put a blindfold, take any object, ask your mother to take any object, okay? Then you will touch it and then you have to guess the, you know, the object which you had touched and then put in the comments below which object did you try out now now that's now that's the way you can uh, touch you can uh, experience how good your touch id you know these things are the fingerprints now next is uh, after muscular system we have i think that's pretty much it for the digestive, okay, digestive system, respiratory, circular, literally. Skeletal, muscular, there's one more, okay. The nervous system. The ner pretty much when you are trying, you are doing a performance show, the, ner you, the nerves, the nervous system makes you a little bit nervous. That is the brain and the nerves. So, when, if, if you can easily recognize what's a circulatory system and a nervous system. The nervous system has the yellow spines and the circulatory system has the blue and red, uh, you know, nerves. So, so the thing about nerves is they carry out the message to our brain. So like uh, if you're feeling, you have to, you're feeling hungry, then the, the you know, the nerves will pass the message to the brain and then the brain will give it to your whole body. 